Hello everyone and welcome back to more Mega Man X. That was a bit of a weird way to make an introduction. <laughs> In this episode of Mega Man X Blind, sorry, we're going to be doing more Mavericks. Well, only one really. But before I do that, I just want to try out a couple of these things that I've never used. What does Matt do? Oh, I see. It's basically just like a sort of a bird's eye view of the, the levels or something, I guess. <laughs> I'm guessing spec will be our armor? Huh? Oh, wow! <laughs> oh, that's pretty useful. If you just... if Before you go on the enemies, then, you can see what their attacks are. Ah! Huh. Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> but, um... Anyway, um... Probably won't be here a while doing that. <laughs> We're just gonna get on with Sting Chameleon. I don't know what this one is. I assume it's some kind of chameleon that changes colour. And by the looks of it, he sticks out his tongue. He looks like a robotic version of Yoshi. <laughs> but, um, anyway. Uh, trying to differentiate from my commentary. I've got to say. I think I prefer the Mega Man X, actually, over the normal Mega Man games. I mean, Mega Man games, you know, the NES ones are good and all. I'm not saying they're bad or anything. But it's just I think I prefer the look of X, with the whole balance of difficulty and stuff. I know I say I like games to be challenging and stuff, but there are times in Mega Man where I find it can be a little bit frustrating. But I'm still unsure if this game is better than Mega Man 2 or not. But I'm not going to make the final verdict until I've played this game to the very end, let me just say. But so far, the music is awesome! <laughs> Hold on, that looks suspicious up there. Good god, my controller then just creeped like twice, so that was kind of bad. But this looks suspicious up in this area, is this going to lead me to somewhere? What the heck's going on here? Is this some sort of secret? Um. Looks like this is some sort of mini-boss, I assume. Could be wrong about that. But his attacks... You know what? He seems pretty easy, actually. Because he's only using two attacks. Kind of similar to Chill Penguin, if not easier. <laughs> I wonder what the reward's gonna be. Hopefully it'll be good. Good God, my controller's creaking like mad today! <laughs> I really need to sort out that issue at some point. Hopefully in my other LP, though, you won't hear that much. But I'm not really gonna give that away. That's about the only clue that I'm going to say, anyway. I also don't mind the design of Mega Man. I mean, his original NES sprite is good and all. But I don't know, I just like the look of X. He looks far more cooler, in my opinion. But it's kind of the same thing that you could say with Sonic the Hedgehog. You know, some people like his old design, some people like his modern design. I, for one, what the heck's he doing there? <laughs> I like his old design better. I don't know, he just seems much more cooler to me, I guess, or something. I'm really not too sure, I just prefer the old one over the new one, really. I have no big reason, it's just my personal style, I guess. Good god, this guy takes so many hits. There appears to be smoke coming from him, though. Why am I still doing charge shots, actually? I should just be shooting small bullets towards him. Probably because I'm used to shooting small bullets and that at enemies, or larger charge attacks to do more damage. Maybe it's not quite the same in Mega Man X, I'm really not too sure. But oh my god, I swear he has more health than the Mavericks actually. <laughs> the reward better be good, because if it isn't then I've just wasted my time. At the moment though I bet it's going to be like some sort of heart tank, possibly. Damn controller! God. If it wasn't for the controller you wouldn't really hear any of that. But it's just for some reason the controller I used has a really large creaking sound. Large, wait, no. <laughs> Loud. God, words. Oh god, we defeated him, thank god. I see, it's an upgrade. Sweet. This capsule contains a new type of body armor. It will reduce damage to you, your systems, by 50... Oh, sweet. <laughs> That's gonna make the later Mavericks a lot more easier, let me just say. So, do I get new body armor? Like, I mean, do I change? Well, apparently it summons lighting, and yeah, I can see that I've changed. I've got more armor, sweet. And apparently the rocks have crumbled. Um, hold on, how do I get out? 
Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> I have to go a little bit further, but then the screen scrolls. Oh, that's a bit weird. But I'm guessing with this new body armor, I can not take as much damage. Sweet. And oh my god, rock enemies. Come to think of it, those enemies remind me of like the enemies that you come across in Rayman for the PS1. I think, I can't remember the name of it, but I think it's called Iron Mountains or something, I guess. I can't really remember it as it's been ages since I've played that game, so I don't really remember a lot of it. But all I know is that it's freaking hard. <laughs> I had lots of trouble playing it as a kid and I still can't beat it today. Probably because of the difficulty and everything. Sorry about that, I had a bit of an interruption there. But yeah, Rayman 1 was hard. <laughs> I can't really LP the game at the moment. It may be a game from my childhood, but it's a game from my childhood that I never beat. <laughs> Like I was saying, even today, I just find it impossible to beat. I'm sure it's not impossible, like I probably could, but there are just some moments in the game that I feel needed a little bit of plushing, if you ask me. I hope I didn't really make a loud p sound because I just spat right into the mic there, so hopefully you didn't get any feedback with that. Oh sweet, an extra life. Because <laughs> I will agree with Rayman 1, I, I, I might as well just call it Rayman, I mean, you know what I'm on about by now. It was sort of... I didn't really like the jumping as such. I found that the jumping could have done with a lot of improving. As there were some tight sections and the jump sometimes was just a bit stiff, in my opinion, anyway. But yeah, that's what I'm going to say, really, because I, <laughs> I don't want to spend the whole episode talking about Rayman. <laughs> I'm playing Mega Man, for God's sake. I ought to be more relevant to the things that I say. But sometimes it's just nice to talk about the things that you want to talk about, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just weird. Is there a way to get that? Because I can jump out of the air. I thought so. If I jump out of the robot, I can then hop into it. Genius! <laughs> I, that was a weird laugh. <laughs> I find it more satisfying getting the items and that in this game. Why can I not go back in? Oh, brilliant. Because in this game, honestly, when you find the upgrades and that, it's really satisfying. It looks like my mate wasn't lying when he said it's similar to Super Metroid, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah, it's all good. Ah, oh, I haven't said that in a while now, have I? <laughs> but still. Oh, wait, am I here? Hold on, wait. I... Uh, there's, there's, a, there's a heart tank somewhere, isn't there? Now, let me backtrack. I think I must have missed a heart tank or something. Maybe it's all the way back. Oh, let me cut ahead to when I find it. Okay, so I can't really find the heart tank really, so I'll come back to that later. I mean, I'm gonna be probably doing like a montage of me collecting all the heart tanks anyway, as I've missed out on a couple of them. But let's just get on with the boss. <laughs> I've been dawdling about too much trying to find the heart tank. Let's just get this stage done over with. Ooh, a jungle theme. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a bit of a weird noise, but okay. Fair enough. So this must be Sting Chameleon. He throws these things down here, I'm guessing. And has teleportation powers by the looks of it. Gotcha. And also it looks like he does a ton of damage. Okay. So... Maybe I should just keep firing and just avoid his tongue? I'm not sure, really. Hmm. Homing... What was the one I unlocked earlier? That was... The... Homing? I think it was... What was it? He was... I'm brilliant at memory here. <laughs> oh yeah, the cutter, that's right. Let's try the cutter, see if that works. I just don't know he's m where he's coming from, though. Okay. Hmm. Seems to be that he keeps doing those sort of attacks. I can see why I call him Sting Chameleon now. Makes sense. Hold on, can that reach him? No, it can't. I've got to be a bit careful then trying to kill this guy. I love the boss battle music, though. I'm not too sure if I've heard the second version though, as apparently that's pretty decent. 
Well, the game's soundtrack is already decent, but I've already gone over that, so I don't really have to do that again. Okay, his pattern's pretty simple to follow, actually. So, hopefully this should be easy. And it also looks like I've got a lot of chance here, trying to kill him and everything. As he, his pattern isn't that hard to follow, I guess. Sure, I'm a bit low on health. Oh wow, I've also just noticed something. When I'm low on health, um, Mega Man, or should I say, probably X, I don't know his actual name or anything. But his health, like, when his health's down low, he seems to, like, pant or something. You know, similar to, like, Mario, where if you're low on energy, um, you know, Mario basically doesn't move, like, panting or something. <laughs> He's just staying up there, though, for some reason. So I'm probably going to wait for him to come down. Like that, there we go. But I get the feeling I'm going to die in a minute. Because I'm on literally on my last bit of health. Good god, I've got to be careful here. And he is literally right there. Okay. Okay, um, hmm. Well, I've learnt my mistakes. How many lives have I got? <laughs> okay, cool. I have plenty. <laughs> wow, this isn't as pressurising as I thought it'd be. Oh, let's try again. Why is he called Sting Chameleon, where clearly he does not sting you? <laughs> is he like half scorpion and chameleon? That I do not know. And I've already taken a hit, brilliant. Of course, he's the one that takes the hit. Ah, oh, darn it. Do I have to like jump and try to hit him? Because it's impossible to get him up there. But at least I know the cutter does the job, you know, trying to kill him and everything. Aha, I see, so when he sticks on there and that, the key really is to hit him off. Because that seems to be the key that I've just noticed. Whenever he's in the air, it's hit him off. And also watch out for his green spike attacks. I don't know what kind of attack that is, but... Oh, that must be like him Sting Chameleon. <laughs> wow, I am brilliant at this. No, I want to... For some reason, it wouldn't let me throw the boomerang. And that kind of got annoying. Wow, he's actually pretty fast sometimes. No, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna throw the boomerang. There we go. <laughs> uh, what riveting commentary I have, eh? <laughs> God, I'm like doing awful right now. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Can I? No, I can't. I, I was on a good rally just then. And I'm literally low of health and low of whatever that stuff is, and I died. Brilliant. Whoa, 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 I want to be careful firing that. As I noticed my mistake that I did before, which was, um... I fired it a bit too much, and really, the boss only takes like a hit for a couple of seconds. So, <laughs> I'm not going to go mad pressing the button like I did before, because that was a stupid idea, let me just say. You know what, this is a lot easier, but I don't want to get my hopes up just yet, as it looks like he's coming back actually, he's coming back quite strong, but hopefully I should get him done. It'll be pretty bad if I get a game over on this, even with blooming two lives left, you know? Like, come on, hopefully that don't happen. Okay, this is a slow method of killing him, but I'm still going to be at it just in case. Do not kill me, please. Because, uh, it would be nice if you could die. And you know what? Oh, uh, should I? Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's go for it. I'm gonna use my cutter. And again, if possible! Okay, maybe switch back to homing. Just in case. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, this is actually quite pressurising, because I'm on like two bars of energy, and he, as well, is on two bars of energy. <laughs> How fitting. But can you please die? This is such a weird tactic I have. And, of course, there we go. Well. Um. <laughs> that went weird. I actually killed something with a 
combination of powers. It was both homing missiles and uh, cutter. It worked. <laughs> you get chameleon sting. I see. And this must be I shoot. Yeah, I thought so. I shoot green stuff. The cycle like just splits as well. Sweet. Ah. But I reckon we're gonna call that for an episode. Sorry that I couldn't get the heart tank, but I can't find it anyway. I just thought, oh, I'll go back to it and come across it as so I have enough powers and stuff. But no, I couldn't find it. So I'll just find it later or something, I guess. I'll probably discuss what I'm gonna do in the next episode as I have to plan it, because <laughs> I will get those heart tanks, I promise. As it will make it a lot easier, I've heard later in the game. But in the next episode of Mega Man X, I will be covering that, hopefully, and trying out another Maverick, probably uh, Storm Eagle, which I'm really looking forward to, because that has some brilliant music. So take care, guys, and I will see in the next one. What is it with me stuttering today of Mega Man X Blind?